sold oh. fake nursing diplomas nationwide. And there are, are more arrests to come. Local Times' Roy Ramos is live with this developing story. Roy. Nicole, this was a $114 million scheme where nursing schools based right here in South Florida sold those fake diplomas at $15,000 a pop. Those students would then take that diploma and in some cases obtain nursing jobs without even having the proper training. U.S. Attorney for the Southern District, Markenzie Lapointe, surrounded by federal agents to announce the results of Operation Nightingale, a scheme where fake diplomas and transcripts were sold to thousands of people across the country in order to work as registered nurses. The last thing we want to learn is that the nurses administering the medications, the ones charged with carrying out doctor's order, took shortcuts on their clinical training and used fake nursing diplomas to get their licenses and jobs. Unfortunately, thousands of people have taken this shortcut. 7,600 that federal agents are aware of. 30% of those who purchased the $15,000 fake diplomas went on to sit for state exams, even passing them. Use those fake credentials to sit for state board examinations, obtain their nursing licenses, and ultimately get jobs at hospitals. We learned the three nursing schools selling the fake documents were based right here in South Florida. One at the Palm Beach School of Nursing in West Palm Beach, another at the Siena College of Health in Lauder Hill, and at Sacred Heart International Institute in Fort Lauderdale. 25 individuals have been charged across multiple states with wire fraud crimes, including conspiracy. While agents have already identified several facilities where people may be working as licensed nurses who obtain those jobs illegally, the concern is the safety of the patients being treated by them. To date, we have not learned of nor uncovered any evidence of patient harm stemming from these individuals. So 21 arrests have already been made. Two more are expected over the next few days. As a result, agents have notified nursing boards across the country. For now in downtown Miami, Roy Ramos.